Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakira for those of you that are new here and for those of you that aren't, thank you so much for coming back and I really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me. I currently went viral on TikTok, so if you're from my TikTok, thank you guys so much for liking and following me on that app. I have just gotten started on there, so, you know, we're about to see where it's going to go. But for now, make sure that you are subscribed. I'm going to go ahead and put the subscribe button right here, and I'm going to give you a second to click it. All right, so today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, and it's going to be a little chit chat one. So, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about myself. I feel like some of y'all, I don't know, most of my people are family and friends. So, if you are not new here or you already know me, then I mean, you don't really. I mean, I would love if you watched this video, but like, you probably know all this stuff about me because it's a little bit of a rant and I've most likely told you about it. But you know, you can go ahead and like and comment and subscribe like you always do because I love you people so much. But yeah, so I'm going to tell you guys, you know, how my hair got red, how I went viral on TikTok, and what's to come after graduation, what are my plans. So if you want to see that, just make sure to stay tuned and we're going to get right into it now. Alright y'all, so let's get into it. First, I am taking... My gotta be glued, of course, but instead of spiking them up, I'm just spiking them in their natural direction. And then since my eyebrows, not my eyebrows, my hair is red now, um, I tried to dye my eyebrows, but it didn't take. So I just filled them in red and it looks almost like the exact same. But starting off, my hair is obviously not the same color as the last time you saw me. It's been a minute my hair was still much shorter and it actually grew a lot but I cut it it was I don't I never came on the channel and showed you guys but I was blonde for like a hot second maybe like a month and then it just didn't really turn out I guess how I expected I wanted it to be more white but instead it came out like yellowish but it was almost like an ash blonde because it like wasn't a bad yellow it just like wasn't what I wanted and I would use purple shampoo and stuff but it just it wasn't where I expected it to be um and I didn't want to bleach my head again because one like I've gotten relaxers in the past but that hurt I didn't want to do it and then I also didn't want to like kill every single last strand of hair on my head so I decided to dye it a color and at first I was really really wanted to dye it gray but then when I went to Sally's the lady rained all over my freaking parade because I was expecting that silver would you know go over my hair but it turned out that like silvery gray doesn't really go over yellow it just like turns it green and I'm not trying to walk around with green hair so that was a no and I was debating between like, silver gray and red so then I was like well let's just go with red but I was expecting it to be a more burgundy color I wish I had literally could show y'all but it turned out obviously much brighter than I expected I look like freaking cat from Victorious like when Ariana Grande played her I don't hate it I mean, I actually do kind of like it, especially when like I have makeup on and my um, eyebrows are red. I think it looks really, really good, but it just was not what I expected it to be. Um, and I'm so sad because I literally filmed a vlog of me like doing my freaking hair and I was going to edit it last night. And my computer keeps saying like disc full, disc full, whatever. So I looked up how I could free up space and it said to delete all the render files from my freaking um, computer. So I deleted not just the render files, but I deleted everything because I was so frustrated and I was tired of seeing that stupid little thing pop up. And when I deleted everything, it cleared everything off my memory card and i am really sad because that vlog was actually gonna be super fun 
not only to edit but for me to like look back on because my friends were in it and I normally don't vlog because like I get nervous or whatever but my friend Alyssa was literally so excited to be in it and like she it's just sad because like I think that would have been a really really good video but we're definitely gonna there's gonna be more to come though with Alyssa Alyssa was so excited um to be in it and she like even took over a little bit in some of the clips but it's so sad because I can't show you guys and another thing that happened that was shown in the freaking missing footage was I went viral on TikTok <laughs> it literally was like so unexpected and I guess that's how it happens most I was trying on stuff for my closet that I want to get rid of and people were just liking it for some reason like that happened like three or four days ago and I'm still getting so many notifications I've gained like a thousand followers just from it I know that's not a lot for like some people but it's a lot for me <laughs> and people are like messaging me like I'm famous which I'm obviously not but people are like finding my Instagram because I guess I like linked my TikTok and my Instagram together and they're DMing me telling me how much they love my videos and that they support me and a lot of people are asking to buy this stuff and I'm not selling it <laughs> I'm getting rid of it but I'm not selling it I am just way too busy and it's too much work to try to sell the stuff so I'm gonna try to sell it to play those and let my friends go through it and if they don't want anything it's going to like the thrift store and you can <laughs> find it at a thrift store near you but I will not be selling because like I said that's just way too much work it's finals week I've been like so busy and so tired and I haven't even really been, like I know I haven't been on this channel in like so freaking long and it's just because I know I say it literally every video I say how uninspired I've been but like I guess I'm just still trying to figure out like what type of content I want to put out because as much as I love makeup, I don't think I'm into makeup as much as I used to be. And I'm way more into fashion and like TikTok is like amazing. And that's another reason why I wanted to make TikToks is because I feel it's really easy to grow on TikTok. Whereas on YouTube it's harder. So hopefully my TikTok people will come on over to this channel and see this video and subscribe. I would love to have you guys here but I'm just gonna finish up my brows off camera because I'm like rambling and then get into the makeup so my brows are on and I'm looking crazy like <laughs> I look terrifying but I'm back and this is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation it's expensive as heck but worth every freaking petty like it literally looks like I'm wearing a filter on my face and I'm in love and I bought it for the Sephora sale because I'm unfortunately VIP Rouge which means I spent a lot of money at Sephora and I got 20% off so it was like 40 something I think if my math serves me correctly but it was worth it like if you don't have this you need to get your hands on it because it just makes my skin look so good and and it's like I'm really into foundation products right now well not even foundation just base products in general like I used to be really into eyeshadow when I was younger but now my favorite part of my makeup is doing my base because it just makes everything come together like the brows, the eye makeup if I wear any because I don't really wear eye makeup like that anymore and like the mascara like concealer, foundation, contour, bronzer, and blush are like essential. I don't know how people wear eyeshadow with none of the above and I don't know how people wear foundation without blush and I don't know how people wear foundation without bronzer it just makes you look so flat like it's a great way to just blend all your makeup in I just want to be real with y'all for a second school <laughs> kicking my tail I'm just over school like my professors have been good 
this semester. It's like I have a lot of the teachers that I normally have. But it's just like one or two classes, the teachers I don't have all the time, they're just doing the most. Like I have a professor who literally decides not to use Blackboard. He he wants to be different. He I get it, you're trying to be different. But it's making it more difficult for everybody, for you and for me. And he doesn't, we, we turn things in via email and then he'll email us our grade back, but then he'll change it. Like he'll change our grade, like either we get like points added or whatever. But he doesn't tell us what our new grade is. And it's very frustrating because one, in Blackboard there's a grade book, so I constantly know what my grade is if you're typing the grades in. But not only is he not using Blackboard, but he's not telling me what my grades are, like what my new grades are. So I emailed him because he said that if we have a certain grade, then we're exempt from the exam. And I emailed him and basically was wondering what my grade was. And he told me to calculate it myself. Not only did this piss me off, but it just, you can't be a little understanding, like a little bit, to why, one, I don't really know my grades, but if I did, I'd have to go through every single freaking email we've ever sent to each other and figure out which ones are my grades. That just really blew me because like I attend his class I do everything I do like everything I need to do I turn all my assignments in on time I attend every single class I'm like a lot of people and you couldn't just email me back my grade like you took the time and effort at five o'clock in the morning was when he emailed me back to tell me to calculate myself when I'm sure that that grade my grade was sitting there right there in front of you on your computer it's just stuff like that like you're going out of your way to be difficult and you're going out of your way to be rude and maybe I just took it as rude and he wasn't trying to be rude but I took it as him being rude and then I have this other teacher where it's a class that you I feel like would expect to be like pretty fun this is the pretty fresh concealer from Colourpop it's fashion marketing and honestly fashion marketing was one of the classes that I was the most excited about because I like marketing and I like fashion so I thought it would be something like super fun you know it's not fun at all all we did was discussion posts and reading like research and case studies which I mean honestly didn't do anything for me and I joke around and say like this semester I didn't learn anything because I mean who did but like in that class I really didn't learn anything like I don't know, I can't tell you a single thing <laughs> that we talked about in my class. Like, my other classes, I at least remember the projects and I remember I learned something in those classes, but this class, I literally didn't learn anything. Um, discussion posts are a waste of time. <laughs> if you're a teacher and you assign discussion posts and say that you have to respond to them, why? I get that it's to en encourage discussion between classmates, but do you realize nobody goes back and looks at those? <laughs> I respond to people and you say to give constructive criticism, but I'm not going to give constructive criticism to somebody I don't know. And I just think that discussion board, like discussion boards is busy work. You don't have anything else for us to do. So you're just assigning stupid stuff that to fill up our time and waste our time. In this semester, I did not have time to be wasted because I work, if we're being honest, I work for six jobs. They're not every day, I don't do, I only do two of them like every week. Um, one's an internship, I do that every week, but it's like remote. Um, I work for university tees, that's remote. And then I do like a wedding planning, I work for a wedding planning company and I help like the day of weddings and obviously let's be real, not many weddings are happening but I worked two weddings this like, since I've started working there and I'm taking six classes also, obviously I have time for school because you know that's why I'm here but I don't have time to be like doing busy work, like you're just giving stuff to give it, you're not grading it and then the teachers have the nerve the nerve uh, the audacity to complain about having to grade. Well, I'm complaining about having to do this, but I have to do it. And at least I didn't make the work for myself. 
you're complaining because you assigned a lot of work and now you have to do your job i just don't get it and the thing that like really blows me the most about everything that's going on is my teachers constantly email us telling us like if we need help with anything like blah 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 blah, blah. and they like i guess teachers know how stressful this is but they don't really care because they continue you know to make it stressful one week i had teacher it was really weird i don't know if it was like a mental health awareness day or like week or something but three of my teachers emailed reaching out not just to me specifically but like to everybody sending us articles about mental health and therapy <laughs> like what and you're saying you know how stressful school is but then you proceed to make it worse and that's the tea i don't understand how you can't be like understanding of like what's going on with people because a lot of my teachers are like you have to show proof and it's like i get it people lie i'm not one of those people but i know some people that are but like if somebody dies or is just not in a good mental space i think i think school should allow like mental health days or teachers should allow like the exemption of like one late assignment or like a, a mental health task a minimalistic assignment that really isn't important like a discussion board or just something of that nature because i feel like everyone needs a day off every once in a while especially with everything going on like it's stressful and working as many jobs as i do not that like i said not that i do them every day like working at a restaurant is tiring especially the shifts that my manager be giving out <laughs> granted i my availability is like only the weekend now because i pick my um i babysit during the week but just because i'm only available on the weekend doesn't mean that i want to work every hour of the weekend i don't want to work 24 hours on the weekend <laughs> but they're cutting a lot of um hours at my job because of numbers rising and like the restaurant i work at um like the area i'm in it's like a lot of military personnel but military people aren't allowed to go anywhere so we've been like super slow like our numbers have dropped like 40 percent which is like a lot <laughs> so hours are getting cut which i ain't complaining about because i'm tired i can't wait to have a little break i finished a majority of my like um final stuff i have one final well, i have two finals i have one final on monday and then i have I don't know hold on let me think when do i have finals i have one final on monday i only have two finals i think my other one's on tuesday it's like a um advanced merchandising and then product development and then i have a presentation i literally we literally have to turn everything in so i don't understand why i have to get on a zoom call and present it to my class but i do so because what a lot of professors have been doing is um the like narrated presentations so that like you don't actually have to like go on a zoom call and then just to ensure that people are watching them you have to respond <coughs> Oop, psychotic guys not only have i been stressed out about school but i graduate next semester and it feels like I have only been at ODU. For those that you, of you that don't know, I go to Old Dominion University. And near the beach in Virginia. But I graduate next semester. Time has flown. Like, it literally feels like freshman year. I moved in to the dorm Rogers, which is where I lived. I feel like I moved in, like, yesterday. And now I'm a senior, and I graduate next semester. And it's just a little sad because like this is my last year and this is what it is no homecoming no really anything no homecoming no like events no parties i turned 21 and i i mean i can drink but can't really go nowhere i mean i could if i wanted to but i don't want to catch corona and like it's just a lot of things like that you 
expected to happen like aren't gonna happen I probably won't have graduation I don't know my school likes to think and say that we're, we're having one but I'm mentally preparing myself not to have one because I don't want to be like super disappointed so no homecoming no graduation no football no basketball like none of my lasts and it's like it sucks because if you knew that that was your last like if I would have known that was the last time I would have ever gone to a basketball game or like the last time I ever would get to really party or the last time I I don't know just like the last time I would really get to like be around everybody like all my friends like at one time and not like worry about like getting a deathly illness then I would have went a little harder <laughs> If I would have known that was my last homecoming, I definitely would have went harder. And I definitely would have like made it worth being my last. But you know, that's life. And what with what comes graduation is loan loan payments. <laughs> Unfortunately. So I think loans for like your federal loans for school start six months after you graduate when you have to start paying those off I believe um so that means getting a job and when I say I have been applying to any and everywhere no exaggerations I've applied to so many places honestly I don't really know what I want to do which is like sounds really scary that I don't really know what I want to do but I think I for sure want to be in the fashion field. I've definitely gotten more into fashion, um, more than beauty now. Like I love makeup and I'll obvi obviously always like love makeup, but I just don't really enjoy makeup as much as I used to. Um, like doing it, it is like therapeutic for me, but I don't like to go crazy. I like having my like routine. I do what I do and I dip. Um, and I've sort of gotten like obviously not now since I'm recording <laughs> but I've gotten like a makeup routine down and that's pretty good um and I can do it pretty quick if need be I forgot to contour my nose um but I was, honestly I would be open to like the fashion industry and the beauty industry like I've applied uh when I tell you I've probably applied to over like 100 jobs just to even like see and the thing about it too is I've been applying to jobs that are way out of my experience. I have absolutely no experience to show for like me being able to do that job. But you know, you just hope that somebody will take a chance on you <clears throat> or will see potential to where they, you know, hire you. You might not be fully qualified for the job, but they think that you could fulfill it like one day. So... Just waiting to hear back from places and obviously it's a really hard time to be applying for jobs because COVID and like even a lot of people that I know that graduated last year don't have like they're not really have jobs or in their careers or working like hourly jobs not salary because you know they're taking what they can get they got bills to pay people feed so I'm just Pray for me, y'all. Pray, pray that I can, like, find a job and that I can be doing well in the state of our, what's going on. <laughs> I know I kind of look crazy right now. Y'all, so, my foundation, I don't know if it's, like, my skin or if it's the powder or what. But my foundation, let me see if I can try to, like, show y'all. I mean, once I do, like, um, setting spray, it, like, goes away. But I'm not sure if it's, like, super dry. Like that. That patch right there. I don't know. Right there. I look crazy right there. Anyways. That little patch always shows up. And I don't know if it's the sponge, if it's the foundation, if it's the powder. Like, I don't know what's good with it. But it always shows up and it's so annoying because it makes me look like I have dry skin. But I don't have dry skin. Like, at all, actually. Um, I've been using, well, it's what I've been using for a while. But I use the CeraVe um, Hydrating 
um, not mouthwash, hydrating, what's it called? Face wash. And that's been doing me, that's been doing me good. Now I'm just taking this Morphe setting mist and um, drenching my face. This is how, <coughs> this is why you don't talk while doing setting mist because you inhale it. This just really melts all my makeup together and like creates the look that I want. And y'all be careful. I need to get like a little fan because when I was back home, I was doing my makeup and I was fanning myself with this mirror. Um, not this mirror, this mirror. And I, was like, Ooh. and I was doing this and I punched myself in the face with the mirror. <laughs> and it hurt so bad. I think I like, I thought I gave myself a concussion. That's how bad it hurt. I'd like to set my face before I do like mascara and liquid liner because I don't want it to like run. All right, so now that that is dry, <clears throat> I, for some reason, like to do my lips before I do my eyes, like before I do mascara and my lashes. So, I'm gonna do my lips. Uh, this is the NYX lip pencil in the shit lip liner in Nutmeg. It's like a um, orangey brownish. I don't know how y'all girls be like really overlining your lips. I feel like I'd be looking crazy when I overline. I'm like not the best at lip liner. Like my lines don't be straight. <laughs> and I honestly just feel like my lips are kind of hard to work with like when doing liner. Cause I have like, I think my skin is like super dry around my lip. And I have like, this kind of sounds gross, but I have like these little bumps around. They aren't like cold sores or anything. And it's not acne. I have just like always had them honestly not sure what they are and now i'm taking the charlotte tilbury charlotte Tilbur, tilbury lip liner lip, lip cheat and um pillow talk medium because the regular pillow talk is too light for me i like that she has um different shades for the different skin tones but i need to have a talk with charlotte tilbury because i really really wanted to try her um, setting, not setting powder, her finishing powder. But she doesn't have my shade. Her shade range is kind of trash, if we're being honest. But my favorite YouTuber, where is it? Her name's Hanny Bags. And I really genuinely love everything that she like puts me onto. And it sucks because they don't have my shade. Next, I'm taking this Lifter Gloss by Maybelline in the shade Stone. This smells like candy. Mm. What a lip combo. I still look crazy because my eyebrows are like super red. And I don't have any mascara or lashes on. So let's do some mascara. Yeah, I don't really care about this. So I'm going to zoom through this. Alright, so mascara is on. Now let's do lashes. So these are the... <coughs> Jesus. Um, the Salon Perfect Glow Glam Multipack. This is just a pair of these. I've literally had this pack since like <laughs> forever and they've lasted me this long. Am I out of focus? <laughs> that face I just made. <sighs> yeah. Honestly, it turned out really good. I'm not even done yet. I need to put lashes on. I'm so excited because I'm getting my lashes done next week but I think I'm gonna have to reschedule it to a different day because I think I said I was getting them done on Wednesday but I have a presentation on Wednesday like I think my plan was supposed to be at 12 and my presentation is 10 to 12 luckily she lives pretty close but I have to talk to her and see like if I have to change my day or like if it's fine. I'm honestly just so tired and I wanna get back. I'm tired, but I'll have time to rest because of break. But I just wanna get back into like a good routine. I like lost my routine as most people do. <laughs> and I definitely wanna start, I know everybody's New Year's resolution is to go to the gym, but I actually want to do it like <laughs> I know everybody says that but I want to do it too 
Um, I think I'm gonna get a Planet Fitness membership because it's only $10 a month. It just sucks because there's like not really one. There's one kind of close near me. It's in Portsmouth. That means I'll have to go through the tunnel every time I want to go to the gym. And I just don't know how that's gonna work. My nose foundation is peeling off my face. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Like what I'm filming and now my foundation wants to act up. Or it, maybe it's not even the foundation, maybe it's the, I don't know what it is. Could be a number of things. Y'all, I'm so excited, so I'll probably vlog it, honestly. Let me know if you, wanna, if you want me to vlog it. But my family, for New Year's, we're gonna have like, a party and I know that sounds like COVID no don't throw a party it's gonna be a family party so it's just gonna be our family and um, we're gonna be dressing all cute my stepmom's getting decor and we're going to be honestly I only care about pictures <laughs> I want to dress like we're you know how like when you were at least when I was younger and I was growing up <clears throat> My parents used to always go to New Year's parties and they would get all dressed up. My mom and my stepmom would always wear like super cute outfits, like sparkles, you know, like the New Year's sparkly thing. I wanna, I wanna do that. And now that I'm 21, like the one time I can actually do things, like go out with a real ID. <laughs> That's me. And um, you know, buy stuff and like enjoy not me just ripping my whole lash off what the heck <sighs> let's try this again but now that i can actually do stuff like i'm unable to like everyone at my school for new year's goes to the gaylord hotel in um what's it called in maryland uh, and i want to go but like no, I can't, but I'm going to Charlotte, <clears throat> so like I said, my family's going to have this little party. I need to find like a super cute outfit, look out for, for pics, because <laughs> I'm a picture taking girl, but I'm super excited for it, honestly. I got to tell my boyfriend so he can be prepared to dress, just fly. I want to like, I don't really know what I'm going for. <clears throat> a lot of places don't really have New Year stuff out yet, but I want to... I want to, um, I think I want to do like a two piece, not really, not necessarily like a dress, but like a crop top and like a pants action, but we'll have to see. But also, I got a new phone. I got the red iPhone 12. I know it looks scary because I don't have a case. Red on my, on my red, but <clears throat> it looks scary because I don't have a case on it, but I'm just waiting for my case to get here. From case to five, hopefully. I think I let it get too tacky that time. See, that's one thing about lashes is you have to like pay attention. Like, ugh, and this isn't tacky enough. See, this is a real, a real get ready with me. I'm not cutting out none of this stuff. You wanna see? <laughs> well, y'all don't care to see, but I'm gonna show you anyways how I get ready. It's a lot of breaks because I get distracted. Stuff don't always go how ex I expected. My freaking foundation is rolling off my face. Like balling up. Has that ever happened to y'all? Can you like let me know what you think it is? Like give me recommendations. What are y'all's favorite foundations? I'm like I said, I'm really into foundation, so if you you give me a good foundation, I might have to mess around and buy it. Mm -hmm. What are y'all's plans for New Year's? I think I'm gonna have a good time. I wanna get lit. Also, video ideas. I've been thinking about some video ideas and you know since I am 21 now um, my friend Alyssa like that I told you was supposed to be in the vlog that got deleted we're thinking of filming like a what's up so you get ready with me and I think that can be super funny and I think the way that we would like put a spin on it is not just like get drunk and get ready but we would try to like find you know like on Pinterest there are a lot of like kind of difficult makeup looks and I think we would like come to like a consist consensus and like pick an eyeshadow look and try to recreate it while we're like tipsy so say something like not necessarily this but say like something like this can you see like something like kind of difficult 
so it'd be funny. And you know, we'd be a little lit, so try to navigate um, doing our makeup. Well, I mean, because have I ever done my makeup lit? I mean, I've like drank while getting ready, but I've never been like drunk while getting ready. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Sorry, parents, yeah. We will be, we'll probably try to get drunk. I don't know, I'm not a shots person, so it'll probably take me a while to get to that. Actually, I'm a lightweight, it probably won't take me long to get to that point. We're gonna be doing it at my house, the comfort of my home. So it'll be hilarious, I think. Oh my gosh. These lashes are blowing me. Like the one day I'm recording, they don't wanna go on like they're supposed to. And it's like, do y'all ever feel like when you don't do your makeup for a long time, you forget how to do it? Because that's me. <laughs> I don't do my makeup for a while. It's like I genuinely don't remember how I, I like do how to do it, and it never turns out like how I expected it to turn out. And I feel like that, especially with lashes. Like if I don't put lashes on in a while, I forget how to put them on. And it's like the more and more I do it, like the more and more I get impatient, and then I have to like slow down and actually like do it right. And that's why I normally just put liner on because it can mask any like <clears throat> glue mishaps. But I really like the look of lashes without liner, which is why I'm getting lash extensions because I like waking up pretty. Lash extensions are just amazing. My lash tech doesn't charge a lot. She does such a great job. And they always turn out like super popping. I'm just getting nervous because I'm like, how am I gonna upkeep them? I'm gonna be gone for like three weeks. As soon as I get back, I'm gonna have to get a fill or something. I don't know. Or I might even have to get a full set. Knowing how my lashes are. The last time I got lashes is really bad. I and mean, I don't know if I'm gonna tell my lash like this, but it was like around Halloween. <clears throat> Some of them were like falling out because you know, that's what they do. And instead of me getting a fill, I ripped them all out. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on all my socials. I'll be putting those in the description. I can't wait to see you guys next. Bye.